Hi, Cancer. How you guys doing? I hope you miss me. I really hope you miss me, okay? Cancer, this is going to be messages from your ex. I want to do something a little different for you, Cancer. You're the first sign I'm doing this for. So we're going to get messages from your ex, and we're going to see how they're feeling, how they feel towards you, but, and then we're going to compare it to what they're showing, the things that they have done, things that they have said, okay? Cancer, this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node signs. All right, follow me on my social media, book a personal reading with me, donate to the channel. You can donate to my cash app. Please don't forget to like, leave me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and comment, you guys. Cancer, let's pray. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and guides. Universe, protect me as I go within the tarot. Protect the messages. Protect my viewers. Any negativity directed toward me, my channel, my messages, or my viewers return to sender a hundredfold indefinitely. No weapon that's woman against me shall prosper. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Cancer, you can follow me on all my you can follow me on all my social media. You can follow my second channel, Dark Goddess, the journey to self-love and self-healing, where I dive deeper about spirituality, you know, how to use your manifestation journal how to make money oil love oil you know things like that and let's jump into it first i want to see we're going to do the regular regular spread and then at the end we'll do the um the trigger universe this is what they've done things that they're showing okay so we'll see how they're feeling but let's see what they're doing okay so let's jump into it. Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right. We're going to use my Twin Flame Universe deck first. All right. Holy Spirit, show me what messages you have for Cancer. Show me messages from Cancer's ex. What's going on with Cancer and their ex, please? Cancer, this is someone on your mind or whoever has you on their mind. Could be an ex lover, ex friend, ex co worker. Um, a brother, sister, lover, husband, wife, okay? Messages for cancer. So many cancer. Give me a couple more, spirit. Somebody likes the color like turquoise or green, something like that. Like a, it's like a sea green. I hear sea green. Okay. It's too many. One more. Thank you. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have gossip. You talk to your friends too much. Y'all see my background? That's cute, huh? Y'all talk to y'all friends too much about this. They talk to their friends and family too much about this. There's too much people in the mix. Too many people talking about what y'all got going on, Cancer. Okay? This motherfucker talk more to them than they do to you. All right. Let's, let's get it. We have pay attention to the signs. There were signs. Okay? There were signs with this person from the past. You just didn't pay attention to it because you loved them. What did I say? We had gossip come out. We got bitch tendencies. And, I'm sorry. This say fake friends. This say bitch tendencies. I had to say bitch tendencies first. Your friends are some bitches. They friends were a couple of bitches. Okay? You'll be able to tell who this is or who they are because they act like a bitch. Okay? This man acts like he has a pussy. He acts like a bitch. Or just a couple of fucking bitches. Okay? Alright? We got fake friends. So, your friends... I some fake ass bitches. They were going back telling this your ex, whatever. Or shit, your ex, his friends. Or if your ex is a woman, her friends. Okay? We're just spreading gossip, lying, acting like some bitches, okay? I just have to express that. The word bitch. Y'all some bitches. I just get that energy from you, Cancer. Like, y'all some bitches, bro. Okay, we gotta have the runner chaser. Y'all had a bunch of runner chaser shit. It's all about these fucking friends. My friends find you attractive. All of these are the same. Blue card, purple ink. My friends find you attractive. Bitch tendencies. Blue card, purple writing. Fake friends. All of the, This is a... Look, is, this is a whole story going on right here. 
Uh-uh. Your friends is a bunch of bitches. I'm not ready to settle down. This person wasn't ready to settle down. Okay? Make sure you didn't pay attention to the signs. You knew you knew that bitch was fake. You knew it. You didn't listen to it, though. This is your sign to leave him alone, sis. You had signs. You had signs. Okay? If not, this your sign. Okay? But y'all know how this is. Entertainment purposes only. Dot, dot, dot. Okay? So they made a mistake. Okay? Please don't wait for me. They said, please don't wait for me. Don't wait for me. Please don't. I'm too caught up right now. I'm caught up in the life. I'm caught up with these people. Okay? Peer pressure. You were peer pressured. This person was peer pressured by their friends. They're, they're too caught up in seeking other people's approval. Okay? They're too caught up in their ways. Okay? This person don't change. So this could be a fixed sign. Aries. I'm Aries. I don't know why I said Aries. It could be an Aries. It could be a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Those motherfuckers don't change. Neither do um, Capricorn or Virgo. Uh, who else don't change? Cancers don't fucking change either. I'm sorry, Cancer, but y'all don't change either. <laughs> y'all don't change the shit. All right, that was the past. That was the past, okay? That was the past. Y'all got a lot going on. Okay, messages from your ex. Cancer, hold on y'all, I'm just shuffling this deck up. Y'all had a lot going on. So it just seemed like you or this person, y'all were probably really young when y'all got together or y'all y'all probably um, shared some of the same group of friends. Denial. And spiritual slumber wanted to come out. Okay? One of y'all favorite colors could be pink. Someone wears pink a lot. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of pink. Okay? Pay attention to the signs. Okay? What I'm getting is, if you think I did it on purpose, I probably did. Another pink card. Now, some of y'all, when y'all get signs, y'all second guess them. Or y'all are like, God, let me know if this is my sign or not. Is this my sign? Uh, hold on. Give me another sign to let me know if that's my sign. Like, come on now. Y'all, somebody's in a state of denial. It could be a Capricorn. You can have Capricorn in your chart. Okay. Okay, we're going to jump into the all signs portion. We're going to go all the way from Aries to Pisces. Messages from Cancer's ex, please, Holy Spirit. Yeah, y'all was just, all y'all was too wrapped up in what everybody else had to say, how everybody else felt about the situation. Hey, what do you think about this? And then people were just giving you bad advice because they had a crush on you, okay? They friends had a crush on you. You had a crush on them, okay? Something. Somebody did something. Give me messages for cancer, please, Holy Spirit. So I'm pulling from four different decks, y'all. Hold on. Be patient with me. See, y'all wasn't patient in the past. I'm just playing. I'm just messing with y'all. Messages for cancer are going from all the way from Aries to Pisces. Okay. We're going to take a look and to see, compare how they're feeling and how they're acting, okay? This is my Trigger Universe deck. This is a trigger warning, okay? All right, we're going to see. For Cancer. All right. Yes, I should have had these cards already shuffled, but I want to shuffle with y'all on camera, okay? So y'all know, y'all know it's, it's spirit. It's spirit. It's, okay? I don't do anything to the cards. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, Aries said, I wonder if you're happy without me. Aries also said, I want to feel that way again. Okay, Aries says, I still get nervous right before we have sex. Okay, how they feel, how do they feel? I'm working on myself so I can give you what you deserve. 
This is how they feel. They're working on themselves so they can give you what they des what you deserve. But how are they acting? This connection does not align with your destiny or life purpose. This is how they acting. This connection does not align with your destiny or life purpose. Okay? If you're dealing with the Taurus. Taurus said, I hope you can forgive me one day. Taurus says, I want to be more than friends as well. Hopefully you can forgive me and take me out the friend zone. Okay? Taurus wants to have car sex with you. Okay? Or they are remembering that car sex y'all used to have. How do they feel? How can we fix this? Taurus wants to know, how can we fix this? But how, how is Taurus acting? Oh, I took Taurus. Taurus. They acted like a Taurus. Y'all saw me shuffle. I'm telling y'all, this is completely just fear. I'm telling Taurus, all right? We're moving on. Who's after Taurus? Gemini. If you're dealing with the Gemini, they knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing, okay? They tried to push you away because they said you came closer than anyone. Okay, they probably had a bunch of people, a bunch of options, and they tried to keep you at arm's length. They tried to push you away. They knew what they were doing. They had multiple people. That's why they tried to push you away. But you came closer than anyone. Okay? Gemini said, look at me while, look at me while you suck me. So if this is a male saying this, look at me while you suck me. Okay? Or vice versa y'all know how to do it <laughs> how do they feel <laughs> okay or this if you are a male you're saying this to your person how they feel i'm planning a big surprise for you this gemini is planning a big surprise for you how they acting though how are they acting i feel bad so i make you feel bad see i knew i knew exactly what i was doing they feel bad for doing that you came closer than anyone okay they're planning a big surprise but they're making you feel bad because they feel bad for what they did. Okay, if you're dealing with a cancer, another cancer says, we both know I'm not the one for you. We both know I'm not the one for you. I keep hearing Erica Badu. Now what am I supposed to do when I want you in my world? She's basically saying, I'm already someone's girl. I have to see you next lifetime. Okay, it says, we both know I'm not the one for you. And this haunts me. This gets under my skin. I can't stop thinking about you. I try to bury myself in work to forget you. <sighs> I'm not the one for you. You're not the one for me. But I can't forget you. I have to bury myself into work to forget you. That's what Cancer said. Cancer also says, I want to put my tongue in it. Okay? Cancer wants you to put your tongue in it or they want to put their tongue in you. Okay? How do they feel? The grass wasn't greener. The grass wasn't greener. What they mean? What you mean? That's how they feel. How are they acting though? How are they acting? He, whoa! It says he's down how, sis. How is he down for you? He ain't down for you. He's down how? How? Okay. Ask yourself. You may have you may have people asking you how is he down for you or vice versa. How is this woman down for you? My bros, my gentlemen. How are they down? He, they not down for you. He ain't down for you. Okay? That's how they, that's, okay, how they feel versus how they act. All right? If you're dealing, dealing with, y'all don't forgot, how they feel is the grass wasn't greener. How they act is they act like they not down for you. If you're dealing with the Leo, Leo said, I'm becoming a better person. Leo says, my life is not together as it seems. They need to become a better person. Their life is not as together as it seems. Okay? Leo also says, candy kisses. You give them candy kisses, you they melt every time you kiss them. Or you melt every time they kiss you. Okay? How do they feel? How does Leo feel for cancer? Projecting. Okay? This person may be projecting onto you because they're trying to hide the fact that their life is not as together as it seems. So they're projecting onto you and they're saying, cancer, you always do this. Or cancer, you're not as together as this. Or cancer, you that. And it's really them. Okay, it's really the Leo. Okay, they're projecting. That's how they feel. Or they feel you're projecting onto them. They feel Cancer's projecting. Okay, wow, Leo says, I'm jealous of you. And that's that's exactly what projecting is. Projecting is they project their insecurities and how they're acting, they're acting jealous. Okay, I am jealous of you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo says, just being near you is intoxicating. This person act drunk in the skunk with you. Baby, 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 baby. Just being near you is intoxicating. And I feel you even though we are apart. 
So this Virgo probably tries to distance themselves from you because being near you is intoxicating. So they distance themselves and when you're apart, they still feel you though. Okay? How does Virgo feel for Cancer? Pisces. Okay, you can have Pisces in your chart. They can have Pisces in their chart. They act like a Pisces, very reserved. You know, they act like a know-it-all as well. Um, this Virgo could act kind of moody. You know, Pisces can be moody sometimes. Um, you never know what some, this Virgo's mind, okay, this is Pisces. That's how they, that's, you know, what's going on. Okay, how does Virgo feel for Cancer? I dream about you. Yeah. Pisces could also be the high priestess, okay? You or them could have Pisces in your chart. You could have met them during Pisces season. So they feel, how they feel is they're dreaming about you. But how are they acting? You remind me of the people or the person who's hurt me. That's how they act. This is what's going on. You remind me. Just Usher, you remind me of a girl that I once knew. I see, your, I see her face whenever I look at you. You wouldn't believe all, the, all of the things that she put me through. And this is why I can't get with you. It could have been a Pisces. And what he, Usher says, I know this is unfair to you. Okay? And it, he says, I have to learn how to separate the two. You just remind me of the people or the person who's hurt me. Okay? And I need to learn how to separate the two. You're not that person, but you remind me so much of them. Wow. Moving on to Libra. I want to tell you how I feel. Libra wants to tell you how they feel because they know they crossed the line with you. Libra knows. They know. I know I crossed the line with you and I need to tell you how I feel. Okay, Libra is bisexual. Either you're bisexual, Libra's bisexual, Libra has had a bisexual experience, or you know someone who has had a bisexual experience. You probably question, this, question Libra's sexuality or they question your sexuality. How does Libra feel? Red flags. Okay, red flags. All right, red flags. You or them. And what they're acting like. Wash your damn face, brush your damn teeth, self-care. Okay, this, okay, whoever, they're acting like they're, they're probably depressed. If they don't get up and wash their face or wash their teeth or bathe, like they don't give themselves self-care or self-love. So that you can see that, okay? Wash your face, brush your teeth, self-care. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio says so many things remind me of you. Okay, Scorpio says, you don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. I can't stop thinking about you. Everything reminds me of you. So many things remind me of you. And that's why it was so hard to let you go. You just don't know how hard it was. Then we say Scorpio. <laughs> oh my gosh. Taurus pulled their own card. Scorpio pulled their own card. So how does Scorpio feel? I pretend to not care, but I do. You don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. They probably was just like, well, I don't want to be with you anymore. And, you know, they made it seem like it just wasn't a big deal, but it was. You don't know how hard it was for me to let you go, okay? I pretend to not care, but I do. They pretend to not care, but so many things remind them of you, okay? So many things. So how are they acting? That's how they feel. So many things remind me of you, but how do they act? Pisces. Pisces keeps coming out. Okay, they act like a Pisces. This Scorpio could have Pisces in their chart, but Pisces could have got between y'all. Um, something happened during Pisces season. You met them during Pisces season. You you need to check out, you could have Pisces in your chart. See where the moon is in Pisces or something like that. Pisces is important for you, Cancer. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Sagittarius is grateful for the spiritual lesson. Okay, but Sagittarius says, I can't let you get close to me. Okay, I was going through some things. You triggered me. I couldn't let you get close to me. And that's the spiritual lesson that I needed to learn. There was something I needed to learn, and I'm grateful for being able to learn that with you. Okay, Sagittarius says, I love the one you moan. Okay, I hear that Kevin Gates song, I love to feel your hair. Love, what he say? I love your hair. I love to feel your skin. Okay, how do they, how do they feel? How does Sagittarius feel? I don't have as much money as you think. Okay? Sagittarius don't have as much money as you think. But well, that's how they feel about you. How are they acting? Don't spend no more money on him. He's broke. Wow! Look at this shit. Y'all saw me shuffle these bitches. Okay. Sagittarius says, I don't have as much money as you think. How? Okay? That's how they feel. How are they acting? Don't spend no more money on his broke ass. 
don't spend, <laughs> don't spend no more money on his broke ass. Y'all saw me shuffle these cards. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, Capricorn says, I wish things could be different. I wish things could be different because I do love you. I do. I do love you. Okay? Capricorn says, I want to be yours. I want to be your man. How do Capricorn feel? Past life connection. They feel like this was a past life connection. That's how Capricorn feels. Okay, how they acting though. How's Capricorn acting? Like a narcissist. I'm sorry, Capricorn. I was rooting for you. They acting like a fucking narcissist. Shit, we can't get anywhere if you're going to act like that. I wish things could be different. I wish I wasn't a narcissist, but I am. I love you, but I'm a narcissist. Okay, moving on. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius says, I love you unconditionally. Aquarius says, I cannot stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. I love you unconditionally. Okay, Aquarius says, tell me it's mine. Tell me it's mine. How does Aquarius feel? Aquarius feels like you gossip too much. This Aquari Aquarius gossip too. Aquarius don't know how to shut their mouth, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aquarius. It's, it's Aquarius. I, it's Aquarius. Okay. Okay, that's how they feel. They feel like you talk too much. How they acting. They acting like unrequited love. Okay? They acting like they don't fuck with you. They acting like it's just you who feels this way. That's how they act. So how, how you... I love you unconditionally and I can't stop thinking about you. Tell me it's mine. But this gossip is getting in the way. And that got that unrequited love i can't wait to see pisces what do pisces say i left you before you could leave me okay pisces says the timing just wasn't right for us and i had to leave you before you could leave me this is just not right they felt that it wasn't right I'm sorry, I don't really listen to shit like this, but it's fine. Pisces says, I left you before you could leave me because the, the timing just wasn't right. And I could just, you could, t Pisces could just tell, this ain't right, this isn't going anywhere. I could tell this not gonna be, this not gonna turn out well in the long run. Okay, what does Pisces got to say? Pisces says, I love when you slob on it. Pisces loves when you slob on it. Okay, they love when you slob on it or you love when they slob on it. Okay, how do they feel? I was with someone else when I met you, damn. That's why the timing was not right. I had to leave you before you could leave me. Even though they with someone else, they don't want you to leave them. Even though they with someone else, so they left you. The timing wasn't right because I was with someone else when I met you. Okay, that's how they feel. If you didn't know, how they acting. I don't see you on holidays on purpose. Okay, I don't see you on holidays on purpose. Okay, well, damn. All right. I, ooh, these are some great messages. I need to start doing this more often. Give me some advice for, uh, ooh, cancer. Give me some advice for cancer. What's that deck? Give me some advice for cancer, please. Thank you. Spontaneity. Okay. Do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer is yes. So buckle up, Cancer. You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional, and underrated. You are about to learn that yes is a magical word with the power to unlock dimensions in space, time, and after hours at the best hangout spots. Yes will lead you to experiences you didn't even think possible and teach you lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke singer's mullet. Okay, so be spontaneous. That's your advice. I love you, Cancer. Thank you guys for coming back. I love you. Peace and blessings. Sending my love. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.